good morning ladies and gentlemen uh, thank you very much for coming this event uh, so my my uh, you already aware about the my topics this is a guideline for uh, construction of uh, buildings basically uh, it would be uh, your home uh, or your commercial building as an investment so i would like to uh, outline my content uh, uh, selection of land uh, selection of land design uh, green concepts smart homes uh, new addition to your home and uh, construction and maintenance this would uh, uh, cover the entire uh, entire area of the construction so i would like to thank ksm uh, giving me an opportunity sharing my uh, experience as well as uh, what we, what, what i have learned so far so first we will move, move on uh, to selection of land this is a very basic and uh, the initial initial thing we have to do uh, we need to find the best land for your purpose so in that uh, i would like to say this is uh, uh, very important so important uh, this may be a lifetime selection i would uh, say that this is rather similar as finding a husband or wife for your life because this may be entire uh, one one time selection for lifetime so in that case you have to be very careful and uh, select uh, in a in a uh, uh, good manner right anyway this is a uh, uh, this is the most uh, expensive part uh, at the initial stage we need to invest on uh, land if you have land uh, of course there are no other option we have to go with that uh, we have to consider the liquidity how fast we can turn into uh, if you're going to sell it how fast you can sell it if, if you find the land if it is have uh, uh, less demand better to go for the higher demand place in case of uh, selling this property uh, if you want to change the mind it is because uh, it is long process as well as it, it takes long to uh, sort out uh, the changing of uh, the location in that case you have to be very careful uh, finding a land so first of all you need to focus on the what is your purpose that is the major first item and uh, residential if it is a residential it's a comfort privacy and accessibility so prime matters and uh, commercial uh, in the sense uh, you need to have the commercial aspect uh, behind uh, traffic and the uh, zoning and uh, uh, surrounding business and so on uh, in that case uh, if you have if you found a land uh, what you have to do first is you have to check if it is value for the cost in generally the cost is getting higher the value also going going higher but the, there may be some cases you don't know really where the place like this in the second graph uh, there may be high value but the uh, high cost but the value is less, low in that case you have to be uh, careful on uh, finding a place the very first important point is location that's why the three times i repeated because it is th that much important if it is a residential uh, building uh, residential purpose you are going to build up a uh, uh, home uh, you have to consider the environment uh, proximity how close to the uh, services and accessibility how how easy to access your place and the neighborhood uh, and the safety uh, and the reputation is also another factor for you can't uh, live uh, uh, in uh, your, your the place where the matching people uh, surround uh, over the place uh, the commercial commercial aspect uh, you have to have uh, uh, accessibility and the democratic uh, factors that mean the population and the demand over the what you are going to implement over there so so those kind of factors you have to consider in the uh, selection of commercial land and the competitive environment is also a good factor and uh, for the home construction uh, utility you need to have kind of idea uh, how to how to assess uh, the availability and the cost uh, even uh, cost is in generally it's flat rate for uh, home construction but if you are going for commercial building it is uh, 
because for the connection is very high. Sometimes if you want high power electricity line, that may be uh, millions of uh, money you need to have a single connection because uh, they need the special transformers and uh, special lines uh, that is cost involved in the later, later stage after the completion. And uh, adequacy and uh, existing uh, infrastructure, sometimes you might not be able to, you are going to have apartment building over there, but uh, there is no power or uh, water connection uh, to satisfy your requirements. In that case, you will be failed uh, at later stage. In, in, in such a case, you have to consider uh, research uh, very much on this uh, aspect. Mm. The zoning and regulation, the government and uh, the legal aspect uh, they have formed, uh, legally uh, you can build this, uh, the purpose sometimes if you say you have brought a cheap price, a big land and uh, you are going to build an apartment complex or uh, hotel in a place. But uh, unfortunately what will happen, we are not going to uh, get an approval, there may be a regulations. This is a very highly residential area, you can't have a hotel like this here. So your entire uh, idea is failed. So in that case, you have to be very careful. What are the local reg regulations? What are the uh, limitations you have to go ahead with your idea? So you have to have a, a kind of uh, research on that. Um, uh, the government has produce a legal document it's called the building codes and restrictions these are restrictions are written in there so in that case uh, um, uh, you have to have uh, uh, the land uh, land uh, selection uh, to match restriction and your uh, requirement so in um, here uh, you have um, i have put the uh, dalada maliga picture uh, the, there's a limitation on the surrounding proximity uh, uh, area. Uh, you can't go beyond the level of this building, the Patiripur. Let's say about uh, KCC building also, they have limitation not to go beyond uh, the limitation of the height of uh, Patiripur. Uh, then, then let's move on the ground condition. Uh, topography is a uh, the level of uh, uh, the ground, uh, hill, maybe valley, slope or steep slope. Uh, then uh, soil stability, I mean uh, how, how vulnerable this is, uh, this place uh, for, a, for a landslide, uh, how safe you, ca you, are, you can go with uh, uh, the building you, uh, you are going to invest on. Um, the soil quality is mean uh, there may be a ground which is uh, very hard enough to carry your lot, it's okay, but if it is a soft soil or something, we have to go for special cases uh, to bear the load and transfer the load to the ground, ground or the uh, rock at the deep levels. In that case, we have to check with the soil testing. We have to dig a hole uh, to the ground um, uh, up to the rock level and find the properties of that and uh, we have to match the uh, requirement with the uh, available uh, soil properties. Uh, impact of uh, environmental and eco ecosystem this is uh, another another limiting factor sometimes there may be a valley it's nice looking very good environmental it's a uh, three, 360 uh, degree uh, nice uh, open environment uh, but there may be a limitation uh, to go with uh, ground coverage they might ask don't cover the uh, ground you need to let free water to flow through in that case, we have to lift the building up on pillars and uh, build the uh, home, let the water pass through uh, in the ground. I have got some incidents uh, in that aspect. And uh, environmental assessment is also another uh, factor uh, which is uh, required to get approval and uh, sustainable construction is uh, another uh, practice that we need to uh, go with uh, good construction practice. I would like to show you some of the ground condition and your cost involved. Uh, the flat or very mild slope available, it's obviously if it is if your, your ground is very hard and uh, the reasonably okay, the cost is the minimum, minimum cost, the least cost expenses for the, uh, the first, first building type. Uh, 
right here. Yeah. And uh, if it is mild stop or moderately, uh, the U.S. expense is a bit higher than the uh, least one, but uh, reasonably okay, you can manage it. But uh, steep slope is the problem. Sometimes you have to go with the pile foundation, which is you have to dig uh, up to the ground level and uh, cast a pile uh, from the ground, uh, from the deep end to uh, foundation level. So this is the most expensive part. So when you are going to buy, still we are in the selection of land, which we are to buy uh, good land with uh, with, uh, with the knowledge of I am going to spend this much of money for the construction. If you are starting from something and end up with two, three times more, you, are, you will be troubled in uh, implementing the project. Uh, you have a general rough idea about the sun and wind uh, and lightning exposure. Uh, sometimes if you uh, land is selected, selected land it at the uh, hilltop, uh, mm, there is a lot of uh, chance of having uh, lightning effects, lightning has started in the set. It's still you can build, but you have to take uh, precautions, lightning protection, especially you have to uh, implement uh, before uh, before uh, construction start. Uh, I, I don't know. I, uh, this one, uh, 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 the land size and shape. Um, uh, basically, a minimum six perch land. You might know about the area. The, you have a, you have heard uh, the size um, the perch. I think many times, but uh, to get an idea, it is about. 275 exact to uh, it is 272 to be exact uh, square feet is equal to one perch value uh, six perch mean it's uh, close to 1650 uh, square feet the entire land footage and uh, 160 perches are equal to one acre of land in general you need to have such a, such idea to um, before buying a land uh, so that is very important to you to have uh, this much of la um, uh, land I need and this much of uh, landscaping I'm going to provide, uh, have a provision for landscaping. And the legal con consideration, another thing, you have to um, uh, uh, basically uh, uh, study for that. And uh, this is uh, one uh, example of real uh, case. Uh, uh, this is the land plot, uh, about 15 perch land and here you can clearly see uh, two land uh, two access uh, uh, to the land but uh, when uh, then you are very happy i have to uh, access i can access in um, uh, one o one o uh, other, other side but in reality what we have bought and uh, then finally you realize that you have no access right to use the this trot so Basically, nobody is going to tell you because the seller want to sell it, and uh, brokers also want to finish the deal. In that case, uh, you have to be careful uh, to check with those. Uh, so, in that case, uh, you we are uh, we are not the professional for that. In you can get the assistance from the professionals. Uh, basically, lawyers know everything because all those are written in the deeds. So, you can get the idea about. Uh, the, otherwise, we'll end up with uh, disappointing. Uh, uh, cost consideration it is uh, basically you know about this uh, the long term investment and the cost and you have to just think and uh, analyze and uh, invest on that and uh, uh, you have idea about the construction costs and uh, you can foresee uh, what will be the cost and future and uh, it is uh, also good investment in future you have to consider that this is the one major part we get trapped uh, without uh, without proper knowledge sometimes we don't know we are we are we are getting a bit lower price uh, good property and we are going to uh, hurry up and uh, take the property as uh, others uh, want to uh, buy so in that case uh, uh, you have to research uh, there may be a uh, proposed uh, tunnel or proposed uh, highway project or whatever in the future so in that case you don't know but you trap but uh, finally you end up with uh, uh, big problem. So in that case, uh, uh, other thing uh, you have to have, uh, if there's a proper development is coming on, so there's a chance of having a higher value that is also ad and that, that's a, and then that advantage. There are advantage pros and cons are there, so you have to just uh, think of that. And uh, public s uh, service uh, proximity is a good factor, uh, schooling, the operation, day-to-day -day operation. There may be good place, good environment, and but uh, the, you know there are no buses or in uh, emergency case, no uh, good uh, transportation system. So you end up with the high 
uh, operational cost in that case uh, you have to consider that as well as in uh, selection of land so other thing is uh, public services like uh, waste collection waste water system or uh, something like that uh, you have to just have a uh, uh, idea about uh, how how uh, how important in uh, uh, having those in your land and uh, neighborhood uh, infrastructure other thing uh, quality roads public uh, spaces and community uh, gathering places and those are important thing uh, is also because this enhance the value of the property that you are going to invest on so legal aspect uh, is may basically uh, two major uh, documents are there that is deed and the uh, survey plan that is the most important legal document uh, at the moment but there are now recently introduced title certificate that is uh, the deed and uh, the survey plan together and uh, it's cleared with the title uh, title in a party again title uh, certificate uh, so clear the title and ownership title certificate uh, uh, title report mean the the registration in the land registry so if you have lost your uh, deed uh, it's still if it is the land registry we can have the ownership so in that case uh, that is the legal other binding uh, method so um, uh, in this case uh, you can, may get uh, legal assistance there may be some uh, fresh doctors we might know uh, about the legal document this is uh, the uh, <coughs> this may be um, uh, this uh, deed uh, copy of deed this uh, everything is written in here uh, and the site plan site plan survey plan this is uh, all the all the legal document uh, these these documents are by bound together right uh, this is the uh, sample of uh, title certificate it's recently introduced and uh, it's clear documentation i would like to uh, tell you uh, uh, give you some case studies case examples this is a commercial land very high value uh, uh, more than 3 million per perch uh, but uh, the, the, you know you can see this is the land plots area and the red color one is the street line that is a uh, there's a limitation given in the government uh, you can't build beyond this line towards to the road this is the provision for uh, future expansion of roads in there are two roads and there are two limitation for that in that case buildable area is the colored portion so in that case he is very successful because the you know the narrow narrow side side is the exposure uh, location if land is in the other side there's nothing to build there so we have to consider in that the next example is uh, as such uh, this is a road road given in here and uh, the land plot is this one and the road the original this is 14 perch land and uh, originally you have uh, uh, divided into two uh, because this is an unbuildable area and the other is a buildable area and also another 10 feet we have to keep as a real space uh, for the lighting and ventilation in that case you have end up with below thousand buildable area so you have 14 pH perch land but uh, it is very 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 four perch only you have uh, uh, two uh, you have only for building the uh, uh, your home or whatever so conclusion is uh, you have to research about the land and uh, uh, invest on uh, wisely uh, and, uh, with the comprehensive research so that is my take home message for that one and i'll uh, move on to uh, the other main to discuss uh, uh, here uh, we will move on to the design space who is the designer of your building architect or structural engineer or whoever no the de design of the building is your is yours you are the one who going to live with so you have to get what you want from your professionals maybe architect um, or draftman or technical officer engineer whoever there may be a wide range of people are doing those services uh, even structural engineer some from basun now to uh, chartered structure, uh, structural engineer there are people giving the uh, instruction for that in that case uh, you have to get the right direction to uh, your designs and uh, you can you should get what you want from the professionals 
so it's a, if you are going for a professional, is it a is it a extra cost? Yes, we feel like that this is extra co cost, but there are many aspects you can save cost out of the consultation or something uh, from the professionals. You can uh, sometimes a small decision may change your big cost or operational, you know, value which goes very high in the single decision. So in that case, it is cost is initial cost is there, but cost saving you can have. Let's say about uh, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, Basuna, they, they uh, used to put all the columns at the corners and uh, all the places, but sometimes uh, the structural engineer can minimize all the, all the structure, cost, low, low cost for the structure with safety. That is the most important part. So in that case, you have a, a cost aspect. So I got uh, recently one uh, example. They wanted to have um, a retaining wall, and initial design was uh, uh, they started to work with, but uh, it cost about 10.5 million. But uh, they came to uh, an uh, as a solution, and they say no. If we propose an innovative solution, higher risk come into our head. But if somebody is going to take the uh, risk, uh, I think uh, there's a cost saving. So I could uh, give a solution, half of the uh, cost, uh, about 5.5 million. But uh, it is uh, safe and uh, good proposal for their their requirements. So, uh, in uh, if you go for the solution, uh, professionals, uh, architects, uh, chartered architects, sometimes regulatory uh, chartered engineers, uh, regulatory compliance for the fire, maybe structural, architectural, whatsoever. You have a uh, guidance and uh, coverage from the. Uh, uh, Professionals and the reputation also goes up with the. Uh, and otherwise, it will end up with the disasters. Uh, sometimes, if you go against, uh, will uh, have a life loss uh, disaster for not for one, maybe many. Uh, and also here, the simple you have the, the, the water leakage here. Uh, you see uh, the construction. Uh, bad practice. You have spent all the basunas cost, you know, workers cost and uh, the material, everything you have spent, but you have end up with the leakages. But it is, it's a malpractice of uh, construction. Uh, first four we uh, did the um, day before and uh, today is going to, to cast the next one and have a, a bad uh, connection between. Uh, it, it leads to a disaster and also uh, electrical and mechanical all, all other services are also for the home construction you don't worry about much but for the commercial building you have to uh, definitely get the services out of front them and um, I, I initially said that uh, you are the designer so you need to finalize your design jot down write down what are the requirements you want the major part is uh, your requirements your needs must be Low, uh, smaller than the resources. If you have the smaller land, you can't build three. Uh, we have six, six uh, perch land, but you are expecting three bedroom home at the ground floor. You can't do that. In that case, you have to have at least matching requirement and the resources spaces. So I will go with a little fast. Uh, there are many things to explain. So there's another good graph I would like to say when the quality and the, the quality and cost graph this. When the quality is high, the quality when the quality getting higher, the cost is also eventually goes higher. In uh, uh, when you have the high quality building, the repair cost is low. It's very obvious, and uh, uh, repair or you know, renovation or uh, whatever the cost coming uh, after construction. In that case, you have to find the total cost, which is the repair cost and the uh, construction cost. It is a, there is a minimum point, which is uh, here. So we have to focus on uh, the point over there. So reasonably uh, high quality and the cost is also minimum. So, and um, uh, the workflow is list out your needs and uh, select your designers and have a have a initial designs and uh, evaluate and revise and finish it once you finish a good outcome so if you do not change your cost will be saving uh, if you are very finalized design you are going to be the same structure there will be no additional cost 
So approvals. In approvals, the next uh, challenging part, once we have finished the uh, uh, designs, you have to get the approval from the local council, UDA or NBRO. NBRO is a uh, ground uh, the responsible people for the plans, right? So in that case, we have to get uh, those uh, approvals from many, many more uh, institutions. I would like to give you a small example of uh, designing a uh, space. Uh, that's a home construction for a lawyer. And uh, uh, this is, uh, you know, entrance is here. The building elevation is uh, uh, two, three feet uh, above the ground. And uh, here have a lobby uh, area and uh, dining and uh, uh, living areas together, kitchen is over here, and uh, one bedroom with attached bathroom is very uh, in ground floor, and chamber, this I seen as a lawyer, chamber for office for her uh, private practice. It end up with, uh, end up with uh, this kind of uh, outcome, uh, this is the uh, area with dining and uh, uh, living area, and uh, this is recently, this has, uh, we recently uh, designed it, uh, we, it has not been uh, implemented yet, and uh, this is the lobby area, you can see, uh, it's a nice looking, uh, you, you can uh, enjoy with the uh, construction. And big uh, room with uh, big, big room, this is in the first floor, mm, uh, ample space for bedroom and uh, even uh, you can have a sofa. This is our final outcome, elevated ground, and uh, these are the client's requirements. They request uh, elevated ground. This is a uh, novel construction methodology with the uh, steel building with the concrete floors. It's very fast and uh, convenient. Uh, now uh, people are moving on with the, this this type of construction. And uh, uh, let's move on uh, next. Uh, latest technology is the smart homes. That is, the you can integrate technology with your home appliances and uh, it, it is uh, this has a little extra cost for in, uh, initial but uh, long term operation wise it is you have uh, you have much benefit benefits out of uh, those uh, concepts you can uh, smart lighting whenever you enter the room only light works like that you can you can uh, you can adjust and uh, thermostat for keep that this much of uh, temperature uh, you can and uh, also the appliances. Sometimes the fridge also you can you can control with uh, the timely manner. Uh, uh, that is uh, power wise uh, much uh, benefit uh, for the long term run. And also uh, you can automatically you can uh, water in the gar uh, garden system, which you can access by simply your fingertips. That is the no, uh, latest technology. This is very good, uh, another concept, green building. Uh, now uh, people are moving on. It's just not uh, uh, cultivating uh, plants or grass uh, in buildings, vertical gardening or not. Uh, there are some nice concepts behind which you, you should practice. Even you can, even if you have a home uh, in uh, your place, uh, uh, you can still uh, construct a place, you can implement those concepts. The basic idea, the concept is, uh, basic concept is reduce three R. That is, uh, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce mean uh, the reduce the waste, reduce the consumption, and reuse, you can reuse the material. And uh, recycle, of course, it's simply, uh, you can uh, turn into another form and use it. So, uh, basic, basic, uh, Basic behind this, this is self-sustaining or self-sufficient. That means you uh, you uh, create your own energy in your home. You uh, use reuse your water to your gardening. Just uh, just it uh, throw away uh, without the just throw throw throwing away. You can reuse it. This is a very good concepts behind. In that case, you can have. Uh, energy efficient uh, building and uh, water conservation, uh, sustainable material you could use and the indoor air quality especially is very good. So in you can have, a, you can have a, there's a connection between uh, environmental and uh, the household inside. So in case uh, the cost overall cost and uh, your feasible in mind is also going up. So adapting uh, renewable energy is um, uh, this uh, concepts. Uh, uh, Solar power, biogas is also another good concept. Uh, 
uh, for a long run and I'll sell you uh, here biogas it's a I'm I'm now really practicing by my own it's a DIY do it your own uh, practice uh, I made by myself uh, it's a simple tanks and there are three advantages in this uh, biogas system that is uh, you can uh, dispose your kitchen waste daily to there so there's no hassle with the kitchen waste and uh, you can uh, collect uh, gases to cooking purpose. It's very bluish, very powerful um, uh, methane gas coming out and uh, it is very, uh, you can cook uh, your uh, at least one meal uh, for your family. So other thing, uh, the waste collected over there is a good fertilizer. So you can use, there are three aspects are uh, soiling out. So uh, green pill, uh, another good thing is you don't know about this maybe, uh, your major power power eater, right? I would say that this is the AC, uh, AC and uh, refrigerator. This is the most power consumed, 24/7, uh, always working. If you have less efficient machine, so what you have in long run, you are uh, getting uh, high uh, bill. So you, if you use uh, a uh, new technological uh, appliances you could uh, reduce the power consumption and uh, rainwater harvesting you could uh, store your uh, since you all most of you are living in candy we are having good rain uh, outcome in in a, in a year so you have you can have a good uh, reservoir to fill uh, water coming from uh, rain so you can use for gardening or even for toilet flushing and uh, other uh, other uh, usages and uh, natural light is another good thing because you don't want to uh, light up uh, all the time you can use uh, late uh, light on, uh, only at night those are the concepts and the uh, water saving technology you can have you know drop uh, sprinklers and uh, water dropping uh, system to adapt those for the your gardening purpose it is water conservative you know less water consume uh, method you can adapt Right. Those are the green, green concept. If you, uh, if they say there are, um, uh, we have 20 million, uh, 22 million uh, how, uh, people are living in Sri Lanka. So out of about one, f uh, one fifth of them, uh, let's say about four to six million, at least there are homes. They, they, if, if they save two meter cube per uh, month, that is a huge amount. So. Uh, there are many economic benefits you can get from adopting those kind of uh, you know concepts. You might not uh, aware or you might not consider in that much, but it's a long run as a sustainable economy in our country. We have to self uh, if you practice self sustain in our food in our home, food uh, energy in our home and the water in our homes is much more material. because now what I what we are practicing is we are practicing drinkable water to wash the car planting thing uh, and uh, many many usages uh, which is very purified water now its cost is also gone very high but uh, what you do is just pay the bill at the end of month some of the uh, important additions you can uh, this is of course uh, my uh, guard board I put uh, uh, all the services outside. Uh, people can come and read. The meter reader want. The, they don't want to enter the home. All the all the <coughs> uh, water water supply connection through water supply connections. They they can come and uh, put the put the bill into the uh, box. Uh, no nobody want to come and but. We haven't considered those in our construction stages earlier, uh, but people have to bail it and come, and it's, it's a it's a it's a problem to our, our, us and they are also. Another so simple simple addition to your home, you may adapt those into your spaces or uh, renovate or whatever the spaces you can add in your future construction. The built-in shoe racks, it's very good. I'm also practicing in my home. It's a, this is not that much big, but uh, half of that uh, it is. Uh, it is. It solves my problems. Uh, slippers are everywhere. Put into the rack and close the door. It's very good practice. And uh, wall cupboards is a good uh, another uh, good practice. You can keep all the household uh, things and 
and uh, cleaning e cleaning equipment you can have cleaning equipment uh, nice place and uh, it's very uh, well manner organized things and uh, laundry room another thing sometimes we build and design and build and then we <coughs> move only we by find that there's no place to place the uh, washing machine the similar thing happened to fridge so you have to consider those also so uh, for better practice and small room for do some work study for your children or whatever uh, better to uh, do that the pantry is if we say the pantry we we take we, we our mind is the pantry is a big cupboards everywhere uh, to put all the things uh, household thing or food items or whatever but pantry is just a place you to keep extra storage for food items so it may be open it may be it's customized is I said earlier, the design is you, right? So you have to give what you want. Then, then only you can get what you want, right? It is very common uh, in uh, all the ladies' wardrobe, messy wear wardrobe, messy handbags, and messy desktop. It's very common all over the world. So, if we have a place uh, to keep the keep the our clothes in order, at least they have to they, they can practice. They will eventually go to uh, uh, go to that scene. That is, we call this as the walk-in closet. Those are the things and the technical word uh, you can have uh, in your uh, next uh, development. So another uh, thing, uh, outdoor spaces. It's very calm, and uh, even even once in a three months time, once in a six month time, or whatever, you can have a deck. To have a gathering or uh, outside the uh, patio, and uh, uh, there's a good balcony concept uh, having a seating facility. It's a good concept. The design is good concepts only, and the attitude, right? So in that case, you 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 would get a good uh, outcome uh, with your involvement. So construction is another hassle uh, and a painful matter for all, even for me. Uh, even in I am the construction industry, I am also having a painful incidents during the construction. That is very common. It is very difficult because we have we have to with the work with the people. People uh, in that case we, we are getting a bad experience. Uh, that is very common. But try to minimize. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, for the consideration uh, home construction, you need to have a realistic budget. Sometimes you end up with. So I'll, I'll end up with 15 million, but it end up with the 45 million, right? Uh, then uh, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, very you are starting from and you end up with three times. It's it's not acceptable. At least 20 million, 22 million is is acceptable. So in that case, you need to minimize your requirement to s to match the budget, right? You are expecting very much big requirement out of a small budget is impossible. So based on realistic budget. So uh, those are the uh, things and uh, you can have some strategies to minimize spread. You can change your finishing styles and uh, outdoor uh, paint, outdoor finishes, uh, what's on, and the quality of uh, uh, home bath or some, something. So that's all. Uh, if you're expecting best quality out of small budget, it's impossible. So uh, criteria for the selecting uh, contractor, uh, there are many ways. You can just give a labor contract. That means you hire a basuna, set of basuna, so give the contractor for them. And um, you provide supply material, and uh, that is one, one aspect. Other one, you can give a VOQ, that is the all the items in line, line, line items, and uh, give to the contract and uh, ask to provide his service uh, with material or without material there are two possibilities other one is lump sum this is the this is what i want give me the lump sum price that is you know you have to but spe specify everything in the the document that's mean that even thickness of the your door frame is also you have to specify your lump sum otherwise they will tell at the at the running time uh, I have I have quoted for this one only. That's why I can. If you go for, uh, I have given uh, the quote for the half an inch uh, sashes. But uh, sashes mean uh, door frame, the door door sashes, door, um, 
the Doropalu again, right, uh, half an inch, but uh, we are asking one inch, but it's a huge problem. So initially, you have to sort out those those questions at the beginning. So lump sum, uh, whatever the whatever the method you have convenient to you, you can practice. Giving the full full contract to one person is hassle-free, but it costs because there's involvement from other people, so you need to have care for them. So it's eventually high cost for construction. Right. Um, then uh, you need to have effective communication between them, and uh, that the initial effective communication at the beginning. Once you have finished, or once you have bound for a agreement, after that you asking some some something is a contradiction, and you end up with the uh, uh, problem in your mind, and also contractors is also not. Uh, the contractors are not you know the people; they are service providers. We don't give, uh, think them as a as a uh, robbers or somebody like we uh, came to uh, harm harm us because we requested contractor to come and serve us and then we have to treat as a contractor also in a good manner because they are also following a professional service and um, construction management overlook it's been my even whatever the thing whatever the construction method you have given them it doesn't matter but you have to follow you have to go and check and you have to uh, 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 engage the people you hire, go for the your structural engineer, your architect, go, your uh, technical officer, get his service, and you have to, you have to, you are the client, you have to uh, connect the, those people to smooth run of projects. Major thing is you have to complete on time, which is very, very difficult at the moment. It's, it's common to everywhere in the world. If we can't finish at the... Uh, at the specified time we initiate uh, initiate in for the construction. And um, you can have some kind of uh, workflow for the cost controlling matters, uh, quality controlling matters, and uh, how design implementation. Finally, you are the one who is going to uh, spend uh, hours in there. So you have to, uh, you can change. At your, at your request, uh, you can change your whatever you want. Uh, finally, you need to be satisfied. So maintenance, uh, I would say, um, uh, it is very uh, uh, very similar. This is a human body. You have systems. And uh, building also, you have you having systems. In water supply, uh, 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 your blood circulation system, water supply and wastewater, uh, hot water systems and uh, respiratory there are it's matching with the uh, air ventilation systems and uh, that we can say that a building is also like in, in kind of a aspect uh, what I want to emphasize you you have to maintain it so in that case proper maintenance is is you can feel that this is extra good cost but it end up with very uh, cost saving at the long term run. Let's say you have peeling of uh, uh, the wall, you just remove the uh, paint and repaint. And if there's a decaying uh, wood pieces in the door door frames, just just do something. It will it will it will prevent uh, the whole thing uh, replacement. So uh, annual we call this as a preventive maintenance. For let's say timely, you can have let's say once a year before New Year. Up in the New Year, it's allowed. Paint color, whatever. So somebody keep looking everywhere, painting, accept and pest control, foundation. If you look at the foundation or water problem or whatever, you have to go around with looking at that. Even you don't know. Uh, the, all the bridges in the Sri Lanka, railway bridges, they are maintaining the set of people going there and spend two days about and measure everything and uh, take all the measurements uh, yeah, it's, it's as uh, distress or failures or something because if some, something happens, it is disaster for uh, many, many lives in that case. So we have plumbing and uh, you know sometimes we don't know that there are water leakages throughout the big uh, period, a uh, long period, but uh, wasting, and we pay bill at the end of the month, but uh, uh, all the time wasting a big water water uh, amount uh, considering throughout the year. So uh, electric also the same, there may be leakages, which is, uh, which is difficult to um, uh, 
prevent from. Uh, um, we we can't we can't uh, assess this one. We need to have professional electrician support. Uh, there may be a danger to having fire. Uh, HAVC main uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. It's in uh, the, those uh, those systems, of course. Um, uh, not that much in our homes, but for the commercial building, it is very much uh, uh, involved. Uh, uh, training, uh, drainage system also, once we make the preventive maintenance system, it will uh, prevent uh, disaster. Uh, that has happened to me even. Uh, clogging at the drainages, sometimes you, you have to have a leave on the day to clean that uh, uh, problem. Um, because you haven't done the proper um, preventive maintenance practice. And the safety film that we have, we, we set up a uh, CCTV, oh, we are very happy, but we don't know whether it is recording or uh, taking the uh, machine is functioning well. But it's some, 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 something happened only, we go back and check it out. Unfortunately, the hard disk is burnt. So preventive maintenance is right, and it's an annual law, six month thing. Uh, uh, practice is essential for that. So this is uh, exactly to, uh, 45 minutes I spent. And uh, 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 this is my contact number. If you want uh, this presentation, you can uh, directly download from this QR code or just send me a text message. Uh, because if there are many uh, good points, uh, I'm happy to help you, even uh, for the biogas, system I am practicing, I try to uh, give you the free free advice to implement your place. There's a small, small technical, technical things you have to do, uh, then uh, you can practice and it is reduce the long term run, energy efficient and uh, good practice for your construction. Thank you very much for inviting me here and uh, thank you very much for coming over here and uh, listen my uh, small presentation. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can pose the question to the speaker. So regarding the bio gas, which you said we can use for cooking, now is there any, any health hazard with that, if there's any leaking of the biogas, if there's any harmful gas which can be produced, then anything like that? Uh, of course, uh, there's a system we can have, a filter system, right? But then there are harmful gases coming out of that. So you can uh, have a, a kind of, a, a, let's say, ferrous wool, if you pass in through the ferrous wall, the sulfur mix material get trapped over there. Once, once in a six month time or once in a year, you got to replace it. This is not the big hazard. Beforehand, uh, you can have the you know pressure test or something to check the leaks, and it's a very low pressure. So when you open only, if there is a small leak even in the pipeline, it don't come. It is, it is not even point one bar here. So you need to. Uh, you know, uh, we can't use ex directly from the uh, from the, uh, the burners we have here. Uh, we have to adjust it. We have to have a, a bigger hole to come the come uh, gases out of the because the LP gas having high pressure in the tanks, but here we are having a very low pressure. In that case, uh, the leakage problem is not a that much big problem, but it's coming out of the filters, it reduces the problems. That is a good question, of course. Uh, you are um, basically people. Uh, uh, this is very common, and uh, we can uh, do a soil test. That is a geotechnical investigation. We need to have it's about two inches size uh, borehole up to bedrock, and collecting samples and 
But the timely intervals, uh, I mean, uh, one meter or half a meter intervals, we can get the soil properties and collect the samples. From that, we can get the mechanical properties out of the collected samples and uh, mechanical uh, properties, I mean, the bearing capacity, the capacity, how much load can bear, uh, we can get from the uh, test uh, we, we perform. Uh, up to the bedrock. So, in some instance, I recently also in Colombo, it's a very marshy land, uh, one very uh, the thick layer of peat. Even single story build, uh, building cannot uh, sustain uh, sustain safely. Already there's a tilt. So, in that case, we had to go for uh, the foundation uh, to the uh, reasonable, not the bedrock, but reasonable down about. Uh, 12 meters, mm -hmm. 40 feet time, uh, what was depth. Uh, the basically, uh, that, that's all the soil testing procedures.